why abstraction. I just, I felt because of a lot of reading and, and serious thinking that that using the figure or or doing landscape or still life, that which was largely antithetical to abstraction, was largely telling a story. It was more literary than it was aesthetic. And I felt that an abstraction could get me into an area where I was really dealing with what art really was. Aside from the fact that I really believed that it was a kind of a exploration that was psychological, that was, was trying to, to develop a authenticity and an honesty and an identity. And I don't think I could achieve an identity in doing the figurative, a portrait, for example, uh, as I could in abstraction. The changes I made were slowly incremental. Uh, and, um, and that, of course, is a reflection of you know, my personality uh, and, and what I was trying to do was without my conscious knowledge, uh, my rational knowledge, my control, was something that was evolutionary. In other words, it, it just simply came about through just the act of, of doing a lot of work, which is, I think, significant for me that uh, among the things that I hold to be very important uh, for any truly serious uh, producing image maker is is that there has to be a commitment that um, involves a great deal of mileage. I think a lot of what I do, what is reflected in my work, is loaded with doubt and failure and uh, and just something that um, that is uncertain. I don't know what's going to come up next. And I think what one of the things that that prompts me is is maybe curiosity uh, to to not know what might be lurking there in whatever I do. Every artist is idiosyncratic and peculiar to themselves. The way everybody is in their own body, their own muscle, their own skin. And I think that the artist has to face the challenge of, of achieving, I think, an image that has that special identity so that people can look at it and say, oh, that's Harold Zisla. Not necessarily, oh, that's beautiful or that's great, but identify, like you say, when you walk into a gallery or museum and you say, oh, Picasso or Rembrandt or Toulouse-Lautrec or whoever, those are the people that have achieved that image. But the vast, vast number of works of visual art never get to that level. I think you just simply have to work for yourself in a kind of cocoon of being. Uh, and uh, I'm not smug about it, and I really uh, uh, don't care very much about what the audience might feel. I don't think you can.